Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 11 existing copy to the latest version of Windows 11 23H2. And the quick method I'm going to show you, you're not going to need any third party tools or anything. So let's get started. To start with, I'm going to show you the system I have. As you can see, this is a very old machine, HP G70 laptop. And you can see it only has Intel Core 2 Duo D5800 processor and only 3 gig of RAM. And as you can see, it's already running Windows 11 Pro 22H2. So today, we are going to upgrade this 22H2 to 22H3 without needing any new tools and completely free. So first things first, I'm gonna take you to download. We'll go to this Microsoft website, microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash windows 11 i'll put the link in description anyway so if you scroll down on this page there are a few options so the option we're going to choose is download windows 11 disk image iso so we'll select the download and we'll choose windows 11 multi edition and when you click on download now it's going to ask you to choose your language so I'm an English United States so whichever your language is for your PC or laptop you choose your language mostly English United States or English International should be quite good so all you do you click on confirm the language and then it's going to take you to download 64 bit so I'm not going to download it again because I've already downloaded it which is I can show you here you can see Windows 11 23 H2 English version and it's 6.32 gigabyte in size so once that's downloaded we'll go to the downloads and as you can see I've got the copy here so what we'll do again we're not going to use any USB pen drives anything else we are only going to click on this file when we click it's going to be mounted as an image which I'll show you in a moment okay so as you can see it's mounted as DVD drive and you can see all these files so all we need to do I'll show you what happens when I run the setup so when I run the setup make these changes I just want to show you what error message it comes up with because this machine is very old you'll see the message it's not compatible now as you can see clearly it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements so I'm going to close that Now what we'll do is we'll copy all these files in that DVD drive. Control A, Control C. So Control A to, is to select all and Control C to copy. And then we'll go to the this PC and then we'll go to the C drive. We're just going to create a new folder. We'll call it. We'll call it Win 11. Now I'm going to copy all those files. I'm going to paste them. Control and V. The files I copied earlier. So this is going to copy all of them in this. 
Once this copy is finished, I'll let I'll I'll show you what to do next. Now as you can see all the files and folders are copied and uh, they are copied you can see the location at the top C Windows 11. Now what we need to do you can close this out of the way uh, the, you click on the search okay so you type C M D in the search and you can see the command prompt right click and you see the option run as administrator and then you'll see the command prompt has just come up so in here we're going to type I'll put this in this description box as well So as you can see, I've just typed in C colon backslash win11 backslash setup.exe and there is a space and after space forward slash and then product and space server. Once you type that in, just hit enter. And then wait a few seconds the setup should start here we go as you can see on the screen now this is Windows 11 version 23 H2 so it's just preparing the setup bit misleading it says install Windows Server don't worry about that I usually with the updates I say not right now and then I click on next this is checking the system like it did before but it did say that this machine wasn't compatible now as you can see it's already gone on to the next screen we are getting a few things ready so accept the TNC's choose what to keep so keep files and settings so I'm gonna keep everything I'm gonna click on next and now this may take a little while Right, as you can see it's ready to install it took a little bit of a while to come to this screen now it's ready to install keep everything so I'm going to hit on install and after this step depending on your machine speed because this is a very old machine this may take may start a few times uh, process might be a little bit slower oh, it's installing Windows server it says but that's misleading don't worry about that as I said earlier so it does say underneath your PC will restart several times. This might take a while.
Right, so the PC rebooted several times during the update and as you can see it's all successful and I can show you it's the same machine the same processor 3 gig of RAM and you can see Windows 11 Pro 23H2 and it's a success we can close that and delete that folder we created on the C drive this PC C drive we created this folder we can delete that we no longer need it so that's it so as you can see it's all successfully done so we have successfully upgraded our Windows 11 to Windows 11 23 H2 on this old HP laptop as you can see and also as you can see at the bottom on the taskbar there's no copilot what we're going to show you now how to enable that and as you can see as well it's not on the taskbar and also when we go to the taskbar settings usually you will have where it says task view or widgets you will have a toggle here to enable or disable it but we don't see that there so what we're gonna do a couple of registry entries we need to go to so we'll windows and all and we'll type in reg edit r e g e d i t okay to that now there are a couple of uh, locations we need to go to so the location is right at the top there as you can see that's the path so we'll start with the h key current user then we'll go to software and in software we'll go down to microsoft and then within Microsoft we'll go to Windows and in Windows we'll look for shell we'll expand that shell like that and then within shell tree we got co-pilot you can see that you expand it and it says Bing chat now that's the path there at the top that's where we are currently so you can see this entry is user eligible you double click on it and it says 0 so that value needs to be changed to 1 which I have just done and click OK now we need to go to the other location within registry so we'll stay so start again from the top so hkey current user software microsoft will come down to windows then in windows we'll go to current version we'll scroll down to explorer and within explorer we'll go to advanced we'll click on advanced and on the right hand side we don't see show co-pilot button entry here so what we'll do we'll add a new entry new right click new d word in bracket 32 bit value left click and we'll call it show co-pilot button enter now you see the entry there so all you do double click on it and change that value to 1 and then 
click OK. So as soon as you've done that, you see the Copilot preview appeared on the taskbar. So the Windows Copilot preview, you can see it on the taskbar. You can also see that in the taskbar settings. Now you can enable and disable it from here. So the Windows Copilot preview, you can see it on the taskbar. You can also see that in the taskbar settings, now you can enable and disable it from here.